Good evening, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the US markets midday for the Tuesday, the 20th of December 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com or alternatively download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, US markets, basically we're going off the uh, Asian session, which was down overnight more or less. So well, especially the Shanghai, the Chinese markets, but the Nikkei certainly was higher. The European markets certainly all did finish in the green, okay? Certainly should, it have ignored the um, concerns with regards to uh, uh, the Berlin attacks, uh, terrorism concerns certainly increasing, and the geopolitical tension with regards to uh, Putin, and uh, obviously the uh, Russian ambassador being shot, and Mr. Putin blaming a third party, obviously in an attempt, in an attempt to derail the... Um, derail the uh, the actual uh, peace process in Syria and also obviously the Chinese and the the Americans with regards to the potential underwater drone so geopolitical tension certainly increasing terrorism first certainly increasing especially given the fact that the market is at a, a potential froth uh, certainly is an argument for to uh, to certainly um, short the market from my perspective okay now in terms of economic data today we've had the um, the actual Red Book index certainly coming in stronger on the stronger side in terms of uh, European markets. Nothing really that's going to affect the US markets, although we do have API weed weekly crude oil stock uh, inventories data, which again will have an impact on oil potentially. Oil currently um, languishing around the $52 level uh, has actually weakened post the Libyan oil uh, data release, potentially increase in in. Uh, in supply there certainly hurting oil we are now holding this key resistance at 53.5 certainly expecting this to hold and, and look to potentially flush and again certainly a bearish argument on equities if oil prices are into resistance okay now let's bring up the actual technical chart now again the the noise and the hoo-ha is all about this potential 20 20 000 on the dow or 20k on the dow and the focus certainly remains on there at present now the 10 minute chart at the moment is uh, approaching that potential double top scenario whether or not we'll hit that psychological level prior to the excess period is another story altogether okay we do have an unfilled gap below though okay especially with terrorism fears and so on and so forth uh, which i've already explained prior to uh, this that uh, you would have expect you would have expected the uh, the gap to be closed below so again looking for fear to increase uncertainty to increase and therefore risk aversion to kick in as well not only that, we also had a HNS formation on the S&P 500, which certainly has been negated to a large extent. Okay, so the Dow itself is into resistance. Weekly chart of uh, Dow transports are into resistance as well, and therefore one would expect, obviously, risk aversion to kick in. Now, in terms of the VIX, certainly has been been crushed. Although the 10-minute chart now is attempting to build a base, so any base that is built should certainly be respected, given the free fall in the VIX. Now we do have two unfilled gaps to close as well. So bear that in mind. <coughs> okay, so VIX certainly is supported from geopolitical concern perspective and therefore looking for risk aversion. So bear that in mind, folks. Okay, now in terms of the um, S&P 500, let's just bring this up for you. Now, I, initially I was focusing on the HNS formation, left shoulder here, head, and then obviously we were going to create this right shoulder, but obviously today's price action certainly has negated that given the fact that we've taken out the FIB 75%. If you take the pivot high, take it to the pivot low, and you can see that we've certainly pushed higher above that FIB 75%. So for now, I'm going to uh, utilize it as a uh, symmetrical wedge formation with an unfilled gap that's been left below. Okay, so again, if I go to the smaller time frame, 10 minute chart, you've got an unfilled gap that's been left at 22.62, and then you have an unfilled gap below that's at 22.58. Well, it's not unfilled, it's actually been filled, but it is acting as support. So 22.58, 22.58, uh, 22 is support 2254 and then obviously if you continue to flush you do have 2248 so again it's all about the uh, s p 500 we're certainly in this bullish channel can this bullish channel obviously continue or will it fold now the uh, weekly candle uh, last week put in a doji and therefore one would have expected a reversal that certainly hasn't occurred out thus far the um, Daily chart certainly is holding that pivot high at 22.75. As long as we, low, we remain below 22.75, the bears are still in control. Okay, and like I said, geopolitical fears in the background. One would presume, one would presume, the uh, the actual markets to fall and close that gap below again. 
the market will decide, especially given the fact that the VIX has started to make a base as well. So bear that in mind. Now, the Russell 2000 certainly is holding resistance, okay? Looking to put in a lower high. No higher high has been made, nor have we retested the previous high. So again, all indicating weakness from my perspective, all indicating weakness, okay? Let's move on to the NASDAQ now, the NASDAQ 10 minute chart. You can see that we're certainly building a base or above, or should we say a wall of resistance above at 49.60. The Nasdaq certainly is holding that key resistance on the daily chart. Yes, we are above 49.10. Yes, we do have an unfilled gap below at 48.75 that needs to close and therefore making this market vulnerable. Yes, we've got multiple topping tails looking for a reversal. Hasn't occurred yet. OK, certainly hasn't transpired yet. So let's just see if we can hold this key resistance at 49.60. And let's take it from there. OK, let's just take it from there. Now, again, like I said, you do have an unfilled gap below that needs to close at 49.35 at least. OK, and, and then we have a potential gap below again at 48.75. That certainly needs to close as well. So uh, certainly arguments on both sides of the equation. OK, both sides of the fence. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see how this market unfolds. OK, now let's call cross reference that with the um, semiconductors now we did have this hns let me just get rid of this now obviously this market continuously moving higher so daily chart at the moment certainly languishing from my perspective certainly showing signs of weakness 60 minute chart again certainly showing signs of weakness you've got lower highs here looking for a lower low now okay so semiconductors certainly indicating weakness let's look at the uh, biotechs biotechs again daily chart indicating weakness from my perspective certainly looking for weakness looking for a move lower yes there is a possibility of an inverted head and shoulders breakout obviously we have this pattern here that could potentially trigger then the actual nasdaq to break up well given the fact that apple is into resistance it's very very unlikely now the uh, the actual nasdaq as well if i bring up the chart the nasdaq for you you can see the nasdaq on the daily chart you can see we are in holding that gap filled resistance and therefore looking for potential weakness Dollar index at the moment certainly has held double top intraday. So it'll be interesting to see how the market unfolds from there. Oh, sorry, we've actually bro broken out of the intraday. Sorry, do apologize. Sorry, this is the FXCM. This is a daily chart. I need to bring up the real time one. That's the end of day or intraday. Okay, here we go. So, yes, yeah, so double top certainly has held so thus far. It'll be interesting to see how this market uh, now uh, unfolds. So, double top on the dollar index, USD, JPY, I explained already. Is uh, certainly holding resistance as well, made it a lower high. Uh, given the fact that the S&P certainly is languishing as well, making lower highs, is below that 22.77 resistance. Uh, USD JPY making a lower high, or US dollar a potential double top. Again, multiple scenarios here, especially with the 20k psychological level as well, pending on the Dow. Whether that's a potential sell signal, etc. I don't know. Again, we have to react on, on based on the variables that we have. And also given the light volume phenomenon in this market as well, it's very hard for any real uh, downturn, downturn to actually occur unless you have geopolitical concerns, which we do. OK, so again, geopolitical concerns certainly does increase the volume, certainly brings in players to uh, obviously turn risk averse and dump the equities prior to the New Year and Christmas. So logically, it makes sense for a flush on the markets. But again, this market certainly has defied all logic, defied all gravity, and uh, it's for you to assess. From my perspective, I'll certainly maintain the bearish bias until we take out 2277, 2277, yeah, 2277 high. So my analysis certainly is indicating for a move lower, and we'll see what, what the market uh, does and uh, confirms as well. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye.